everybody. Sean Moza here, Senior Product Manager at AppPoint. And I'm Paul Olenek. I'm the Director of Product Innovation at AppPoint. And today we're going to be talking about some of our new apps we have available. So one of the things that's really exciting um, in today's world is the shift towards um, building and providing customers with apps, which are much more front-facing or client-facing, versus a lot of the traditional tools that we've been building at AppPoint over the last decade, which were very uh, focused on the back office um, and dealing with tasks that the administrators had to focus on um, from a day to day. And what's happened now is as technologies like SharePoint Online um, and Office 365 become more popular and they become much more visible um, to the front office, when a enterprise makes a investment in a partner um, or a company like AffPoint, not only are they looking for really cool tools, um, you know, like infrastructure management and everything that we've built traditionally, but they're also looking for line of business applications. And uh, a great example of that is our meetings application, which can be present in a one-on-one -on -one meeting, in a boardroom, um, you know, in a marketing sync. Um, we could even have a meeting to uh, prepare for this uh, video demonstration. Um, and so I think as the requirements change, um, you know, the need for a development shop to build kind of uh, smaller, more focused products. Uh, becomes very important. Are you seeing any other drivers, Paul? Um, Absolutely. Kind of what I would consider a universal problem for our information workers is, is sort of threefold. One mm -hmm. is we have a massive amount of content to deal with. Right? So yeah. how am I, as an information worker, supposed to stay aware of all my content? And even if I can be aware of it, uh, how could I prioritize it? I'm not going to be able to stay on top of it all and read it all. So that's yeah. number one. Number two, as you know, my content is stored in a multitude of different systems now, right? Mm -hmm. So even just within Office 365, we've got email and blogs and documents and Yammer conversations, tons of sites. Like, And so if I'm trying to get back to a piece of content, how do I get there? Do I need to remember it? Right. Uh, so that's another universal problem. And then thirdly, I think it's well understood that more and more we have geographically dispersed teams, right? Mm -hmm. And so making sure that I'm aware of all my colleagues around the world, what they're working on, making sure we're not sort of duplicating effort. Right. One of the key drivers uh, here at AppPoint to moving to building productivity applications is a huge shift in, tech, in the technology landscape. And one of the really cool features that Microsoft has released with Office 365 is the Office Graph. Um, and there's a lot of cool applications being rolled out. And I think, Paul, your team's worked on um, an application built on top of the Office Graph as well. That's right. We have a new Windows Phone application called My World for Office 365, which is built on the Office Graph. So um, the thing I love about Delve is it will surface all that information to me and make life a bit easier. Um, but it isn't quite 100% the way there. So from my understanding, My World um, actually enhances that experience. Can you tell me a little bit more about how My World is different from the, the native functionality? Sure. It's, it's a great question. So. What Delve is really great at doing is surfacing content to you that you're connected to in one way or another, mm -hmm. either through your past interactions with that content or other people, mm -hmm. or through your place in the organizational chart. Right. Um, what my world does is something very similar, but it takes things a step further. So we ask the question, how can we surface content to you that you may not already be connected to, but should be? Mm. And we do that through our own use of an algorithm, right? So we ask the question of the office graph, what are the most pe important pieces of content to me? We, we then extract a number of content and phrases from that right. important content and then use those topics and phrases to drive a number of insights um, across both your people and content. So from my understanding, the uh, My World app is already available in the Office Store today. Have you had any early success? We have. We did a, uh, a soft launch where I shared it, especially cool. with some of the industry leaders, right? So. Uh, employees at Microsoft and other Microsoft SharePoint MVPs, mm -hmm. and we got some really good feedback. Um, there's a couple that I remember from the Microsoft uh, folks um, saying that they found some content that they didn't know existed that saved them a lot of time, right. or they got introduced to uh, a, a new resource that's become you know a key go-to you know expert in their field. So th that was really encouraging. With the release of Delve, which is built on the Office Graph, Microsoft has taken huge strides in changing the way that we work, allowing the most relevant content to bubble up to us automatically. We at AppPoint couldn't wait to start working with these new technologies, and our first effort in this regard is the My World app that I'm going to show you right now.
What we wanted to do with My World is provide a mobile Delve-like experience, but take it one step further. And we do that in a couple of different ways, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. Think of My World as that application that you're going to scan on the way to work to get up to date on the most important trending content in your work life. Or use it to instantly pull up that document you were working on the night before to give it one last review before your morning meeting. The app is built as a universal Windows app, and today we support Windows Mobile 8.1 and 10. We've even built in Cortana integration, so I could say something like, My World, show me my hot topics. And I'm presented with a topic cloud. The topics page is really the innovation that drives a lot of the application, so let's talk about that for a minute. What we've done here is extracted topics from the documents that the Office Graph indicated were the most important to you. We've then used those to create a topic cloud that you can drill into to explore content across your organization. This is a really cool way for you to visualize the topics and concepts that are trending in your organization. And if you click on one of the topics, Tray Research for example, the application does a query across your content to surface documents that include that concept or phrase. Now if I navigate over to the Documents page, I'm presented with three tiles with unique views behind them. Now the top two views are things similar to what you might find in Delve. You have a view where you can see the documents that you've worked on most recently and get quick access to those. And then you've got all the documents that are trending around you, things that are being worked on uh, by your close colleagues and so forth. But where we've taken things quite a step further is with suggested documents and I'll just click on that tile. You see Delve and the Office Graph are amazing at servicing relevant content that you're already connected to in some way or another. What we've done with My World is take that one step further by also servicing documents that you may not be connected to but should be. The way that we're doing that here is using those same trending topics that we saw before and using those to surface content from across your organization we also give you the capability to filter out certain topics. So if some of these look like noise or they're just not things that I'm interested in, I can deselect those, save, and it'll refire the query, only showing documents that relate to the remaining topics. The last thing that I want to show you is the people page. And if I go back to the main screen and slide over to the people page, I'm presented with three tiles, again with three unique views. And if I click on Frequent Collaborators, I get a really cool visualization showing me those colleagues that I have the closest contact with. And you can kind of tell how important they are to you by the size of their picture, right? The smaller ones are people perhaps that I have less contact with, and people with a larger picture are those that I have more contact with. And if I click on one of them, say Rob Young, for example, I get to see a bit more about them as well as all the documents that they've been authoring. And I can strike up a quick conversation with them by either clicking the phone, email, or text icon. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have right now to show you the application, but I really hope that I've piqued your interest and that as soon as it's available in the Windows Phone Store, that you'll download it and play with it yourselves. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen too. I was like, <laughs> if I look at Paul right now. <laughs>